How's it going everyone? It's Kalen from Kite, the AI autocomplete for Python. I wanted to make a video with the top Twitter accounts we think Python developers should be following in 2020. But first things first, Python has one Twitter god. It's not even worth putting his account on our list since I'm sure you're already following him. Guido. Guido's the founder of Python and he's awesome. He's at G Van Rossum. And no Python developer's Twitter feed is complete without some Guido love. Now let's talk about a few other accounts you should definitely be following, whether you're a Python newbie or a seasoned Python developer. I'm going to cover two Python aggregator accounts and then two influencers I think you should follow. First up is Import Python. Import Python is mostly known for its newsletter, but its Twitter account is also a go-to space for curated Python tips, tools, resources, and news. It's run by software developer Ankur Gupta, who does a great job retweeting an array of interesting things he comes across on the Twitter sphere. If you want to be fully immersed in the world of Python, this is the account to follow. While scrolling through Import Python's feed, you can expect to see opinions or rankings on the best Python tools and practices. You also see the latest news in Python, as well as updates on big Python events and conferences around the world. Probably the coolest part of Import Python is that it shares a lot of eclectic Python resources. It shares interesting and challenging projects using Python. Projects are often accompanied by thorough articles documenting the author's experiences making them. Plus, a lot of the time, these projects are open sourced, so it's a great opportunity for followers to jump in and contribute. So if that all sounded interesting, definitely follow Import Python. Import Python will keep your feed fresh and spotlight parts of the Python community you would otherwise miss. For example, you'll find them retweeting minor gripes people have with Python, most of which garner an extensive thread. Check out this. Or who doesn't love a good joke snuck into the bunch? So follow Import Python if you're looking for a curated cross-section of Python covering pretty much everything under the sun. Now next up is Python Hub. Python Hub is similar to Import Python in the sense that it presents hand-picked news, tools, and articles on the latest in Python. However, Python Hub focuses on catering to the curious programmers who constantly want to explore new tools and libraries and expand their Python knowledge. Expect to see trending Python repositories from GitHub, which are great resources if you're looking to contribute to some open source programs or just want to take a deeper look into some fresh and interesting code. There are plenty of silly project ideas to distract you from doing real work too. While there aren't nearly as many tutorials as real Python's Twitter account, Python Hub will occasionally share mini tutorials to get you started with some of Python's more obscure libraries. So to sum it up, follow Python Hub if you're an active developer always looking to try something new. Okay, these last two are gonna be Python developers and influencers. And first up is Raymond Hedinger. Raymond is a Python core developer who does freelance programming, consulting, training, and has authored several modules. So let's just say he's been around the block when it comes to Python. Raymond is the person to follow for helpful Python tips. He knows Python inside and out, so he's always tweeting about common mistakes programmers make or how they can approach the code in the most Pythonic way. Sometimes there's just tips to solve a problem in a simple way. If you scroll through his feed, you'll see he is constantly trying to help his followers become better programmers by driving home the power of Python. He'll do this either with words or with some short code fragments. He also loves to throw in some random fun facts about Python. It's always good to have one or two of these handy for the lunch table discussion. Another great thing about Raymond and his Twitter account is that he interacts with his followers and involves them in his Twitter lessons. He'll tweet the occasional pop quiz or post a poll to see where the Python community falls on certain opinionated topics. You can tell he really cares about the engagement of his followers and a lot of the time he even asks for their thoughts on or personal experiences with something in Python. I also thought it was worth noting that in addition to being an expert Python developer and big personality on Twitter, Raymond is also an established speaker and teacher. He gives talks at different Python events and conferences fairly often, so try to catch one of his talks the next time he's in town. You won't regret it. Last but not least, let's talk about Armin Ronecker. This man created Flask as an April Fool's joke, and that was when he was only 20 years old. Pretty baller. Armin is a self-described open source nut. If you're passionate about decentralized software development as well, this is the channel for you. He's constantly tweeting about updates to various projects he's working on and any thoughts or struggles he's been having while doing so. Armin has a popular blog where he goes much further into depth on these thoughts. He links to new posts from this on his Twitter. Similar to Raymond, Armin will tweet out when he discovers something intriguing while coding and sometimes asks his followers for suggestions on particular code. 
So follow Armin if you want to hear from someone with extensive first-hand experience working on widely used Python resources and get to climb into his mind from time to time. Those are the five Twitter accounts I suggest you should go check out if you haven't already. There are so many good resources for Python on Twitter, and I'm sure many of you have your own suggestions. So please, right now, leave those in the comment section below. And finally, I wanted to take a second to mention Kite. We're building an AI autocomplete for Python and more languages to help you save time while coding. There's a link to download the Kite plugin in the description below. Check it out.